Somebody asked me today, what is the best way to deal with toxic relationships? And so here was my response. Over decades, I've learned that the best response for resentful people, toxic people, critics, bullies, haters, is to ignore them. This serves many purposes. Number one, some can't stand it and eventually disappear. Number two, some become more self-aware, very rarely. Number three, some want to be friends, very rarely. And so the best way to prevent a toxic relationship is to avoid all toxins in relationship and all toxic people. Don't allow yourself to be bullied by power mongers, influence spoilers, those who confuse self-worth with net worth, those who sacrifice their self for their selfies. But also understand that every relationship is karmic. It's an entanglement of your story, which you believe, with another person's story, which they believe. And so every relationship is a karmic entanglement meant to expand our self-awareness and um, meant to take us in the direction of soul consciousness, divine consciousness, and unity consciousness. So forgiveness while standing up for your rights is the best way to deal with any relationship. Um, and always remember that no one agrees with your story 100% and uh, except you and that's true for the other person itself so there's never going to be 100 percent agreement with stories but justice always prevails because karma never loses an address